I want to share something with you about the accuracy of antifreeze testers. This is a container with a 50-50 mix. I carefully mixed 50% antifreeze and 50% water. So it's a, a true 50-50 mix. Now here is one of those five ball, floating ball antifreeze testers. You can get them cheap just anywhere. And I want to show you with that 50-50 mix in it, I've got two balls floating. If you can see, there's two out of the five balls that are floating. Now, according to the scale, if you've got two floating balls, if I roll it on around here, you're protected to plus five. So that antifreeze, according to this tester, will protect down to plus five. Now, 50-50 mix is supposed to protect to about minus 34. So when I saw this, I got to thinking that maybe my antifreeze tester wasn't telling me the truth. So I went over to the local car parts place and I got another antifreeze tester that I thought might be a little more accurate. You can see it's designed a little bit different. Now I'm gonna pull some of that 50-50 mix up into this and see what kind of reading we get. Okay, here it is, filled up with the same 50-50 mix. It's really hard to believe there's this much variation, but if you look in there between the blue peak symbol and the blue scale, where that big needle is on the inside, not the little needle at the top, that's just a, a balancing needle, but the big needle that's showing on the inside there, it's pointing right at minus 34 degrees. The five ball tester said we were protected to plus five degrees. This antifreeze tester says that we're protected to minus 34 using the, the same known 50-50 mix sample. That's quite a variation in testers. I didn't know that they could be that far off. Really something that you might want to think about with all this cold weather we've been having. Uh, this tester, by the way, was only about four bucks over at the local auto parts place. It didn't cost much at all. A worthwhile investment, I would say.